Hello everybody, I am Mobile Wild, and this is Lies of P once again. In the last episode, we made our way through Rosa Isabel Street and all the way up here to the front door of the Opera House, where the King of Puppets has made his lair. And today, we're gonna push through these big old doors, throw out my little puppet spine doing it, and then we'll trounce around through here, might get killed a few times, and try to find us the King of Puppets before shoving a sword straight into his ribs. And, okay, chug a lug, why don't you, Mr. Frame Rate? Just chuggity chug chug all them trainy noises that you make chugging along. There we go. I think the weirdness is out of the way. Well, this is quite a bit weird. Them yellow puppet strings they seem to have means they can cause me some disruption, which is the instant kill status in this game. It's also because they're buffed by that spider-looking thing up there with the big fancy wig. Those bitches like to just charge the surrounding enemies with the ability to disrupt me, and it also buffs them. Oop, that! Those that singing it also disrupts your face, which I really don't like. You and your damn disruption. Well, how about you disrupt these nuts? Except don't do that. My nuts ain't made to be disrupted. Ow, don't you go sing at me. Eat shit, you stupid spider bitch. You're all dead and stuff now. Oh, those are feathers on your head. I thought that was one of those cliche tall-ass wigs. Like the one that Spongebob got in that one episode that looked like a stack of toilet paper on top of his head. You may have seen that episode, or maybe not. I don't know what you'll be watching. Well, big swinging flaming chandelier on a precariously narrow bridge. That's going to be fun to deal with now, isn't it? And in here... We've got... Adelina Corday. Oh, who are you? You're not a puppet. Actually, I am. Are you here to listen to my music? I can't sing anymore. This petrification disease took away my songs. Riddles. I was fooled by him. He said this place was a shelter. Riddles, you say? Fisher. I'm so sorry. Yeah, about Patricia. I assume that's your sister, who may or may not have tried to murder the shit out of me earlier. Anyway, she's dead. Oh, Patricia, I'm parched. Just a taste of fruit. You're having apple. Oh, thank you. Apple oh, noises. This is the sweet. Sweetest apple I've ever had. I can't stop death from taking me. But I have enough strength to confess my sins. Can you listen to my last confession? Might as well. Trisha, I coveted your voice. If I can't match it... Then even if I have to break you, Adelina Corday must have it all. I know it's wrong, but still, I love you. <laughs> well, that's uh, kind of fucked up there, Adelina. I know. Well, that's all we're getting out of her for the moment. If we come back later, she will be dead and there will be a record that we can take. And this... 
This is a Belford Disruption cartridge. So is that better than what I've got? Uh, yes, yes it is. It also gives me some disruption resistance, which I could greatly benefit from in this place. Because as you've seen by the crazy ass spider bitches, disruption is a very real problem here. And I can't get through that. That ain't no door. It's just for decoration. A decorative fake door. Can't be opened. Not at all. You just pull and pull on the knob, but then you'll break it. And you'll have to pay a shitload of money to the people who own the place for breaking their decorative fake doors. Why even put those in here? You got some weird taste in decorations, you do. Now, why don't you just come a little bam? There you go. A fully charged blast from the shocky hands enough to put these disruptive bitches down in one shot. Ow. Well, this ain't going as well as I thought it would, but it's working. I am survive. So. Yeah, there's another spider bitch, and you know she's gonna have them little dolls all charged up with disruption as soon as I go charging in there. So I will wait. I will wait until you get a little closer. Maybe if you turn around, I'll rush in and take you by surprise. Okay, this is good enough. And, yeah, you're singing. And that's enough out of you. Take that, and leggy stomps. But... Not gonna help you. You ain't gonna cause me no problems. Your annoying little bitches are now helpless. They have less defense and a whole lot less poise when they ain't all charged up with your disrupting magic. There you go. Another one dead. Give me that shit. I'm not gonna use it. I just like take it. It's a little quirk of mine. I love taking things that I'm not going to use. I just need to have them for no particular reason other than to have them. And I remember there being somebody tough down here. Might have been one of those big wheel holding guys. But this way, I can't, ooh, that's a chest. That's what's down here. Yeah. Technique amulet, and up there is the swingy chandelier. I remember this now because I remember seeing that chest while I was about to cross that bridge with the chandelier going back and forth. And seeing the chest down there wondering how I got to it because I just simply ran past it. Okay, yeah, here we go. Big old wheel guy. And nope. You are a pain in the ass. Yes, you are, mister. Alright. That wheel of yours. And there we Okay, I thought you were about to keep on swinging, but you just didn't. And shit. Okay, thought a third swing was coming, but I was wrong. Good to be wrong once in a while. There you go. You are done. And that's a very interesting looking wheel you got there. Like a wheel that's designed specifically to be a weapon. Who makes a wheel to be a weapon? Seriously, who the fuck goes and does that? Wheels are made for roll and not for smacking people. You want to smack someone, do it with a sword or a fucking club. Exploding pickaxe, you say? While I do love the sound of that, I'm gonna stick to my sword. I am always down to do some cutting. For legendary actress Adelina Corday, even those who... Even those who envied her reputation loved her songs. Yeah. Sounds about right. And I can't open you, now can I? Nope. Shocky side! 
Give me that little buzz buzz all up in my fingertips. That's a crescent moonstone. There's a door that I can open from this side. And there's the big old swinging chandelier bridge. All right. And if I remember right, the opposite side of that door on the other side of the swinging chandelier bridge is where the king of puppets is. So I think it's time to hit this stargazy here so that I can get all uh, healed and stuff. And now... Ooh, item. There is item. Give me. Yay. Mine! Now let's go slap us a king. Charge! There we go. We're safe. And yep, there's a thing to summon some help, which I don't intend to use. I don't need no help. I'm a one puppet army, you son of a bitch. Now let's go see the king. I'm waiting for you, you royal bastard. That puppet there looks a lot like me. Performance for the ages. And there's his royal highness. I do not accept this dance. Man, this guy's really stuck to annoy me. 
And there we go. He's got his guns out. King got guns. Now, if only I'd made it through that without using all those pulse cells. Because that was the easy first half of the fight. Come on, bitch. Romeo, king of puppets. Ow. Shoulda backed up. That's what I shoulda did. Yep, you got your damn side now, you fucking cocksucker. Alright. Now, just waiting for the right opportunity. That's bad. And there we ouch. He fucking hit me again. Now, all right. I don't think I'm winning this. Not this time. Yep, I have been defeated. On my personal playthrough, I had to do this so many times that I got was able to get through the fucking first half of the fight without taking any hits. But that's been a long time. A long enough time that I'm not so good at the game no more. Anyway, round two, baby! Hurry up and die already! Ow, oh, you son of a bitch! Get up! And drink of the juice! And, ah, uh, right, that's not what I was expecting you to do. Okay, alright. Now just let me get in there so that I can finish this first half of the damn fight off. And there. Oh, you son of a bitch. Use the juice. And now just take some of that. Okay, there we go. We don't need to see this again. Bring out the real boy within the machine. There we go. Alright, just coming to no that damn move there. Alright. Now, no you don't. Not this time. I need to remember that so that I can deal with you properly. Now, just Take that, now I use the juice, and there you go. And let's keep that blade nice and strong. There we go. No, you, there, we, all right, fucking, just, oh, fucking cock, yep. There we back it up. There we go, I don't trust myself enough to perfect guard that, because that happens, I try and I fail, I regret everything, because I'm a dummy. No, I press the dodge button, you lying sack of game, you. And, alright, just stop, would ya? Uh-oh. Now we need to keep distance. Eat shit, you cheating bastard! Simply running away from you used to be enough to not get caught by that. Well, fuck me, am I right? Anyway, we'll take this fucker on in the next episode, because I'm all out of time for this one, so thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching. We'll see you again in the next one. God, bye!